Hi guys, welcome to the second video where I will show you how you will going to read the Excel data in Python. So if you have seen my first video where I have talked about uh, how we can import the CSV data in Python and we looked at couple of options and now we are moving ahead and we will see how we can read the Excel data into the Python and then do the further data analysis operation using Panda library or data visualization with the other libraries all right so first piece is that uh, as always you need to import pandas library so we are importing pandas and we we are giving the alias name as pd so that we don't have to write panda all the time when we are calling its function like pd dot excel file if you are not doing this then we have we have we will have to write pandas dot excel file so that's the benefit of giving it an alias to the library all right let's go ahead and execute this i'm pressing the shift enter and after this we are using the function from this library pandas which is excel file this function is basically taking the path of the file which is an xls file and if i'll just show you quickly the file that i have and that is uh, superstore sample here it is and uh, here is uh, the columns the different columns that it has so it's about uh, the product information some sales data that i'm using as an example all right so after that uh, we are reading that data and uh, executing this so let's go ahead and execute this so if we are executing this uh, it will not uh, give you the output like the data direct data which you need it directly from the file you need to basically parse it that is a part of this object uh, object that we just created so what we are doing is we are taking the file creating an object orders and we are saying that from this file object that we created as it has all the sheets information and excel file information we want the orders sheet because that sheet contains three different uh, worksheet contains three different sheets and one of the sheets is orders so what we are saying that uh, hey excel file uh, we need to parse just the order sheets from this and then show us the first five observation so that's the thing you need to remember that's like a uh, two uh, two step process first get the entire workbook in the object excel file and then create and then uh, import the sheet using the parse function and give the name of the sheet all right let's go ahead and execute this once we execute this we see the first few observation that is a useful function had which gives first five observation and here now the data is in front of us that that column if you need any other you need to specify that sheet over here in the parse function so that's one thing uh, one of the ways by which you can read the data another way to directly read the data is by using the read underscore excel function so this is also a part of the pandas library and the benefit of this function is that uh, in just one statement you can get the output so that file has the returns the orders which have been returned so that it has that sheet and what we are saying that using the read underscore excel function is uh, go to this path import this file and take the second sheet however the parameter is one but as you know the index is indexing basically start for the sheet objects is basically from the zero so zero is basically the first sheet and uh, one here indicates the second sheet so that's why i have indicated one so if i go ahead and execute this no issues and if i go ahead and uh, get the first few rows or the five rows here i have the first five rows so these are the two ways by which you can read the excel data into the python and do your data analysis one is the 
using the excel file and and then parsing what are all the sheets that i want sometimes it is really helpful because uh, you just want to get entire information in one simple object and do that another one is just go ahead and uh, within one statement just get that sheet and start doing the processing so choice is up to you what do you want to use and uh, get the data directly to the python for data analysis so that's pretty much all i have for you in this video and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic